welcome to pavitra laptop care see we already saw uh, before pressing power button what are the signals and what are the voltage you will get from the beginning right see these are the associated voltages once you get this sm bus these are the signals once you get this 3 volts always these are the sections will get active correct see now once you press the power button the power button out signal will goes from io to pch from the pin number is 122 output see this is the output from pin number 122 it will pass the signal the power button is already pressed the signal the pch will receive okay once the pch will receive immediately what it will give this allows the fraction of seconds so microseconds it will happen all the things after pressing power button okay you will get the display immediately but before that what are the process what are the procedure what are the uh, what is it orders so that you have to know because if you can't know if you don't know about this procedure you are really unable to do the uh, service chip level service in advanced level because see just i give an example the you know, for example here sys reset is not functioned okay in that case you need to check all these sections okay if three volts always not working then uh, obviously these sections won't be in active right all will be in inactive and this alert won't happens that procedures you you must follow and you must know those things hmm? here three volts sm bus the main voltage if this voltage won't comes these all are the signals this won't pass two particular sections right so that procedure that's why uh, in simple manner i'll explain today see once the power button out goes from io to pch pch will give all these signals okay 5 s4 s3 and s0 ash at a time these signals will come to see uh, s4 and s3 will come to the io and s5 and s0 already it goes to the motherboard other section hmm? okay once these all signals will come then what are the appropriate voltage will generate see using that s4 slp s4 you will get 2.5 volts section see you will get the voltage of 2.5 that particular ic will get active and it will give the particular voltage what is this this is actually ram voltage ram related voltage if you want in depth i already explained in my channel so you can go there and you can check all the things see pin to pin particular signal level i already explained in hindi so my channel name is the repair facts okay now i'll come to the point the appropriate voltage will generate once 2.5 volts will generate it goes to the ram section okay it goes to the it's one of the requirement of the ram slot and ic also hmm? see slp s4 once slp s4 you will get so one uh, cpu related signal will active cpu c10 gate ash okay once you get this s5 s4 s3 s0 then this particular signal will get active after this the main sys on and sys uh, p on these all if these all are okay then io will release sys on and sys p ash okay sys on and sys p ash io will release here the pin number 95 and 116 actually here it is repeated okay anyway see after this what what will happen the ram section complete ram section will active how the sysn is required for s3 state s3 in the sense 0.6 volts the vtt uh, signal will come now that section will active and one more section that 1.2 ram actually if you get the 2.5 volts then you will uh, it will active the 1.0 see one minute see here is the voltage 1.2 vcc pll once this will produce then finally it will enables this vcc st okay uh, but till the time 0.6 volts uh, the vtt voltage you won't get till now okay once this will present here sysn 
one season you will get you will get that 1.2 volts and here using this 1.2 volts you will get this 0.6 volts ddrb v reference ca okay after you getting that suspi the when uh, the suspi voltage signal will come out from the io that time you will get the appropriate voltage 3 volts vs 5 volts vs and 1.8 volts vs vs signal will get active ddc to dc converters these are 3 volts always to 3 volts uh, vc here 5 volts always to 5 volts vc and here 1.8 volts uh, to always to 1.8 volts vc hmm? these are the converters one when you will get once you get the suspi ash see so after that vcc stg enable will come hmm? once it comes the 1.05 vcc stg st signal will get active now once you will get that 1.2 volts ram see after that after that one more section will get active that is s3 in s5 uh, state the ram voltage i mean in s uh, ram ic i am telling s5 signal if you get that s5 signal 1.2 will generate if you get that s3 signal you will get 6 0.6 vtt voltage see this one you will get hmm? before that once you get this 1.2 uh, vcc pll then ddr pg control will generate and smpg will produce by using this 1.2 volts okay so finally you will get this 0.6 vs vtt voltage so this is very very important section in ram now what are the section you will get you you got 2.5 volts 1.2 volts and finally 0.6 vs vtt these three are required to ram slot okay now you got all the things uh, what are the uh, i mean uh, cpu required from the ram those things you will get after this finally one output will produce from io okay once these all are okay then finally io will release we are on this is very 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 important we are on this one this signal is to enable the cpu voltage please uh, note on this i'll repeat this particular we are on is to enable the cpu core voltage that's called vcc voltage the main vcc is nothing but core voltage okay see this enable signal goes to where cpu ic now the cpu ic will produce till the time you won't get any core voltage please keep it in your mind it should be 0.6 volts vtt should be present then only you will get this vr on if this one is present then also you won't get this because this should be there and smpg control should be there hmm? this s3 ddr3 uh, stage should be there then only you will get the vr on from the io okay after this here actually in 11th generation the core voltage is mentioned as vcc in now you will get the core voltage after this see we are power good cpu power good and pch power okay will be generated according to the order okay once you get this all finally the result plt rst the plt rst finally it will produce okay it's from pch now you got my point right so before pressing power button and after pressing power button what are the state of this particular motherboard one thing i am going to tell you these all are only power level power sequence level but actual work will start once this voltage enters to the motherboard the signal level functions so what are those general instructions i'll give you see till now what are the signals you will get you got no that plt rst or vr and whatever it may be so once you get that plt rst this complete sock will active okay once this associated components hardware is active then it will start working okay before this this alert signal level the voltage level will be confirmation as be given by the reset one PLT platform recent is the final one. Platform means this sock contains these all are the platform. Okay, all reset will be happen in one time finally. 
hmm? the platform all are good all voltages are good all power goods are good then this will start work okay how how it will work with the components the sock soc is uh, is communicating with the components through this heard see through the frequencies it will talk to particular section please keep it in your mind the sock will talk to the particular component through the frequency how it will talk see before this one important thing i am going to tell you once you press the power button the main thing here io and spi rom this two are very simple one but it makes uh, more complicated things once you get the motherboard in uh, problem uh, position okay because using this only the appropriate voltage will generate right see the main thing is the program program should be okay these are the components attached to the sock the particular program how and when the signal will communicate with these particular things those things as written through the bias bias in the sense basic input output system now it's a uefi firmware okay so those instructions the particular instructions as given by spi rom and ec okay ec is basic level uh, uh, programming will be there before pressing power button what are the uh, see thermal sensor uh, dgpu battery charger fan cable light these all are should be in working condition then only it will communicate with the pch finally pch what are the signals it gives according to that pch uh, associated signals it will give the vr on and finally the processor will communicate with the ram and all right so before that the program should be okay that is coming from uc3 see spi path it's a 20 33 50 megahertz the spi path will communicate to the pch or to the sock through these frequencies see all connected components having frequencies then only the communication will happen see now spi will communicate with this with this frequency here i2c using i2c test screen and here sm bus through sm bus is the io it's a 50 megahertz e spi once spi signal will generate then automatically spi rom will generate right once rom will generate uh, i mean it will active then the instructions will fetch to the pch once pch uh, according to that uh, instructions pch will communicate with the appropriate what hardware see for example edp connection all s0 state should be active then it will communicate with this edp line hmm? and here lan lan should be some communication right some talk will happen with the pch and lan so through 2.5 gigahertz gigabyte per second and here 16 gigabyte per second it's a highest one nvidia signal it's a graphics one so this one will communicate with the processor and processor will communicate with the ram 3200 megahertz 1.2 volts okay this this is the frequency the frequency should be match with the processor if is there any mismatch then you will get no display because it won't understand processor won't understand the uh, what is the talk of the ram okay that's the reason what are the frequency matches with the processor that much of uh, cpu only i mean uh, ram only you have to put if you put more than this 3200 definitely it will it won't get i mean uh, it won't work sometimes if working also you will get no display cases okay you got my point see all devices should be communicated with the according to the io and what is that spi rom Hmm? that is the reason in no display cases you will uh, do the bias things so one thing is confirmed so first io should be okay io signals are should be okay but before that internally in some io has program okay that instructions will be there according to that instructions this pch will work after instructions fetch to the pch the main final uh, not final it's a main instructions fetch to the spi rom 
Bluetooth and all 480 megahertz USB 2 and here it's a USB 3 5 gigabyte per second SATA will work 8 gigabyte per second PCI 4 4 technology M.2 also hmm? here M.2 SATA and uh, SATA SDD both will be there hmm? uh, and uh, this one is RAM this one is this one is over EDP won't communicate this is just only output section uh, it's not bidirectional what are the bidirectional almost the frequency you will get SPA TPM everything is over here is the audio 24 megahertz see like this the laptop motherboard will work once you get the power sequence what are those see here this is the power sequence this is the basic one the pch voltage and the pch final one is here plt rst once all <coughs> will be okay then only the complete motherboard will function okay that's it so in deeply if you want please join our hindi channel and you can watch it that's it thank you thank you very much